Uh, this is a short video I'm going to show you how to coil up bantle blades or fold up bantle blades. This is a, something that we often get asked by our customers is how to do this and um, we thought we'd just give you a quick demonstration and to do this we're going to bring in our team. So first up we have Josh. As you can see he grabs both hands on the blade and these hands are roughly about shoulder width and what he does is he grabs the underneath of the blade and he just does a flick action and coils the blade in and as he coils the blade in you'll notice he twists twists the blade and that's how he grabs it. Now that is not an easy thing to do, but it will come with experience. The easier thing to do is to do it on the bench. This is what Craig does. So Craig does a very similar action as Josh, but he uses a bench. And what you can see is when he does it and pushes it against the bench, the bench helps him coil the blade and twist the blade in. This is how we normally do a majority of our coiling here in the production. So the next one we have is Martin. Now Martin, he He's going to do a double coil. Now, to do a double coil is similar to the other two actions, but what we're doing is we're doing the same process twice. So as you can see, when he coils, he does a, a quite a small coil to start off with, and then he grabs with his left hand the blade and twists it around to make it look like uh, two loops and a big large loop. And then when he does this, you'll notice he'll, he'll grab the blade and basically make it look like the same blade that Josh had before and he's holding the the two smaller loops and just as if it's a normal blade and then just coils it around again and there you go bingo now here's another way to do it which might be a bit easier this one's done by Andy now what you can see with Andy is he uses his feet so he puts his foot on the bottom of the blade and then he just simply uses both hands and twists the blade around Till it forms a nice loop and um, that's that's another easy way to do it and lastly this is another way you can do it is grab the blade each end like this um, and just twist it and then bingo there you go nice easy loop now this might look easy on camera but you will get it over experience and um, give it a shot it's not that hard to do